Hey guys, I have a new deck profile for you. This is using the new ban list, uh, the new supposed ban list, I suppose. Uh, so hopefully it's not, you know, a false one and I look like an idiot. I mean, I'm an idiot already, but even more of one. Uh, but I'm doing Frog Monarchs. Uh, the reason I'm doing Frog Monarchs, the deck only lost one card and that was Cold Wave. So why not run it? Uh, so let's just get rolling with the deck list. Trigodio. Gores, Sangin, Three Fader, uh, Two Fishborg, Three Lad, Three Swap Frog, Three Treeborn, Three Ryza, sorry for the glare, uh, Two Mobius, Three Caius. That is the monster lineup. Now, nothing has changed in this build, really. Uh, I topped the regional with basically this build like three months ago two months ago something like that so uh i just like the way that it runs uh now the thing is i don't know exactly what the new uh meta is going to be uh sabers was untouched uh book of moon went to one which is i mean good for the kind of decks that i run but it's bad in general because we can't stop synchro summons. So that's why I'm sticking with the double fish borg because I figure, well, what are you really going to do to me now? So uh, that's the monster lineup. The spells, one foolish, one avarice, one one for one, one reborn, one dark hole, two space typhoon, two enemy controller, or three, I apologize, three, uh, three soul exchange, and Giant True Nade. Now, usually I don't like a card like Giant True Nade and Frog Monarchs just because this is the kind of card that you want to use to make a really big push, and with a deck like this, you can't make a really big push. Uh, most times you can just Monarch, and then, you know, you may be able to go Fishborg and Treeborn to make a level 8 Synchro, but that's really all that you can do. Or, you know, sack for a Monarch and play Reborn for another Monarch. There's not a lot of big plays you can do with this deck, so, uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of a filler, I guess. Uh, I lost Cold Wave, which, you know, hurt the deck, but, I mean, that's all right. Uh, I can't complain there. That card's terrible for the game. So, uh, yeah, I just threw True Nade in. And then I run one Trap, and it's Treacherous Treple. Usually I don't like trap cards in uh, frog-based decks just because it, they just seem like so slow. And, you know, if you like set a card, most of your opponents should know like what kind of cards you set. It's either like enemy controller or like water art, threatening roar. So, I mean, I have seen people play around it, so... Uh, but the reason I'm running it right now is I just don't know what the meta is going to be right now. So, you know, for the first couple of weeks, I'll figure that out. So uh, in the meantime, I'll just use this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to have a Karakori deck profile coming up next week. I have an OTK build and a regular one. Uh, I think I'm going to have the OTK one up on First Hikage 6's channel. So check that out. You better put it up. Uh, if not, I'll just post both versions. I have a, like an OTK where every single card in the deck is built for me to OTK, or I have the ones using, uh, the castles and stuff like that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Uh, let me know what other deck profiles you want to see. I'll see what decks I can build. Uh, and... Oh, I also have the Trap Monster deck coming up next week, too. I got all the Uriahs, so uh, be on the lookout for that. So, deuces.